Good day everyone. Hope everyone's safe and well. So today's little thing. I've got some time up my sleeve at the moment. So today I've I've put my compass up into the center section there. Figured that'd be a great spot for it. So the next trick that I'll need to do. All right, let's see, I reckon that'll be great. Right there. Anyway, I need to put a little fairing over that, I reckon, just to make it look cool. Obviously, it'll be a aluminium fairing. So that's what I'm up to now. So I start with a piece of tin. This is 16th hour. Um, T6, 775, so it's pretty hard stuff. We'll see how it goes, because this is going to be a fairly big lift. Uh, center line. I peeled all the plastic off because it doesn't work so well in the English wheel with the plastic on. So this will be the rear where the compass face is, forward of the, to the aeroplane. Um, it'll be flat here, or flattish here, where the compass sits, and then it's going to curl down to the skin here. And it's going to be, let's see, two inches, two and a half inches high. So it's got to have, from here, it'll be about two and a half inches, and it's going to curl down to here, and sit like that. So that's how we start. We'll end up having to trim quite a bit of this off because that just, when you're forming it, it just interferes uh, with the shaping. So you just trim it. That's how we start. So I started with, uh, it's just a little bit sharper than the intermediate wheel. So here we've got, there's the flat one and it goes all the way down to this one here, which is the, which is the sharpest uh, curve on it. So we sort of started up here. Um, basically, I just put it in here and we'll work that area there and we'll start shaping it. And then pretty soon I'll change that out to the sharper one. And then we'll go from there. There you go. So a couple of minutes later, we've got a curve starting to happen in that. Um, it's basically taken that shape already. So pretty soon I'll have to change that out. Um, I'll probably end up having to wheel a bit more out here as well. That's the shape we want to start, so it's going to curl around more. But you can see there's a flat spot just, just in this area here. So I'll probably work... Um, I'll probably work out here a little bit more to compensate for that. So there we go, we're getting progress. I've just trimmed roughly the edges here so just trim these bits off because um, if they're not part of the job and, and you're not working them they start to ripple up and, and get in the road so you're better off to trim it all down. This is very rough guesstimation about the size and of the flange and everything like that obviously it'll get trimmed a lot more than that and um, it'll sit I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit because that'll be about two inches across that way and it's got to be almost two inches or no a bit over two inches tall at the front there so it's got to sit like that now obviously you can see there that when you do that that line there i've made for the flange isn't straight so we need to we need to allow for that too so uh, i want to work a bit more though because it's not quite the the curve that i want um but i think i'll anneal it first this time because it's such a severe curve there I work hardened it so we'll give it a quick little anneal and we'll go again okay there we go that's got a decent curve in it yes I think we're getting awful close there now so by the time I manipulate that a little bit and start working on the flange I think we've got something there Sort of looks like a, it'll be look like a mini headrest, like that, but smaller. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the tightest radius die I've got. And basically I just sort of wheel it all through there. So um, you can sort of see the marks that I've left there. So concentrated the work area to those, that little spot. Yeah next bit so there we go sort of looks like a 
small headrest. So you can see there's a warp in the skin right here. Um, so we'll work, we'll work that out in the English wheel. When you um, work it out, you don't run the wheel through here to stretch it out because what it'll, what it'll do is pop it out like a blister. You actually need to work this area up here. Stretch it up here and that'll pull that skin out. Trust me. And we're done. Not too bad. Just gotta do the anchor nuts now. Got it sitting quite nicely. And there we go. Compass and fairing done. Turned out alright. And sitting up there, so oh, I don't know. This is your this is your field of view anyway, so it's not impeding on that because it's so far back. And you can still see it properly. Yeah. Turned out alright.